having a little fun at the workbench doing a teardown. Welcome to Hack a Week. So this week I've got a, a goofy thing to do here. I've got just this silly ass toy I found in a junk pile. No idea what it once did. Maybe some of you guys know, but uh, I figured there's probably some cool stuff in here that I could probably use for some projects, robotics, whatever. So I thought it might be kind of fun to just do something different and do a tear down on this. There's gotta be some salvageable goodies in here. So uh, let's have at it. Let's get at it with the uh, the power drill and start yanking screws out. Let's see what we got. I don't know what's inside. I'm sure there's a few drive motors. There's a bunch of gears, and um, there may be just something we can turn into something else. For all we know, these things turn on the sides. Don't really know what they do, but uh, anyway, there's. Uh, there's some cool gears. There's a sector gear in there. And it looks like this comes off with three screws. And then we can take the side cover off. So if anybody has any idea uh, what this thing was, um, leave it in the comments. Because I'm curious. I don't know what this thing did, but it sure is interesting looking. I think it was remote control because right here it says 27 megahertz. So it probably had a remote that went with it. Got a screw way down in there that I can't get at. With uh, the drill. I may not even be able to get it with that. Wow, that's way in there. We'll skip that one for now. How's that? This looks like a battery case. Oh, look at that. Rechargeable 7.2 volt battery pack. Wow. Tyco RC. Hmm. Well, that's cool. There's a nice little battery pack. Uh, don't know if it's NICAD. Yeah, it's NICADs. Ugh, those are junk. Let's continue with the tear down. There's some goodies. This looks like uh, motor controllers right here. Those are cool. This could be a whole uh, motor control board. That could be salvageable turned into something else. Got a couple LEDs that it goes to here. They look like they were once eyeballs, I guess. Still got something holding it here. That'll come off. That's kind of wild. Okay, we're down to this one screw that's buried in there really deep. I don't know if I can jam this guy down in there or not, maybe. Yeah, there we go. bank of relays and a third motor. And 
it looks like there's maybe one more motor inside there. Let's pull all this apart. See what's hiding in there. Can it be there's just one screw that holds that whole thing together? No, there we go. They're buried. They're down in the hole here. This is how I got started in electronics when I was a kid, just tearing stuff apart. I'd find old broken toys and uh, tear them down. I lived in Phoenix, Arizona when I was nine years old, and on the way home from school, I would always cruise up and down the alleys and keep a watchful eye on the dumpsters and the trash cans for uh, electronics and and uh, broken toys and stuff. Take them home and tear them all apart. My parents were pretty cool with that, um, as long as I wasn't bringing home really garbagey stuff. They were they were okay with it. Uh, this looks like it's a switch right here. Just goes to a little switch. Some sort of a limit switch is my guess. Lots of grease inside here. Yep, that's exactly what it is. It's a small limit switch. We'll just cut that off so we can pull all that apart. And it looks like uh, there's probably one on the other side too. Some interesting gears here. Might have to chuck all this stuff in the, uh, the gear drawer. So, let's take a look at what we got. What did we get out of this? Well, we got lots of screws, a bunch of plastic bits. Um, sometimes those are handy, but uh, the screws are definitely a handy thing to, to have. Always get some screws and stuff salvaged out of this kind of junk. Get some of this grease cleaned off me here. Okay, let's get down to what we've got going on here. This would be the power supply right here. That's a big, uh, that's a resistor. I'm just gonna clip this stuff off. Pull off this, what I believe is the charge controller. pack there. So I got a couple of micro switches. Those are kind of handy. They look like they have three leads. So that means that they're uh, normally open and normally closed on there. Two of those would be normally open, two will be normally closed, and then when you push it they just reverse all of that configuration. And what else? We've got uh, these relays. These to me look like they are serving like an H-bridge. See, let's get all this laid out. Figure out what we have going on. So there's the two uh, two eyeballs. That's our limit switch leads. So I've got a controller board over on the other side here. That's a uh, that's a black blob. Um, microcontroller MCU otherwise known as a black blob MCU underneath there is a little microcontroller chip and it's just encased in a little black blob of epoxy and uh, back when I did the rumble robots it had one of these and all I did was just take um, one and a half volts connected to ground took the other lead and started touching it along here and you can trigger sometimes the H bridge in a circuit um, usually you won't hurt anything with that low voltage, but you can find out where to tap into a circuit to make motors go. Well, you know what? Let's uh, get some voltage on here. And that battery pack was a, a seven and a half volt battery pack. So I'm gonna kick on my little junky bench power supply and we'll connect it up to the battery leads. Let's go ahead and just power it up. Turn this on. We're at seven and a half volts. 
I can see LEDs blinking there. Can you see those? Let me uh, let me zoom in there, get you a little closer. Got an LED blinking, um, but that's about it so far. So there's the motors. Looks like the switch is on. When I turn it off, the LEDs stop blinking. Now they're on. They were on steady, and now they're blinking. Okay. Um, you know, now that I look at this right here, I think this is the receiver. Ah, uh, yes, it certainly looks like it. It's got an RF coil right there. It is not a charge controller. It's a receiver. And uh, where is it? Right there, where it connected, that would be the antenna. Okay. So, signals are probably going to come from this board and they'll go through these leads right here uh, and then they would trigger things on the board. Hmm. Let's get out a battery holder here. I'm going to take two AA batteries and stick them in there. And let's see, let's get a jumper wire connected to these positive and negative. We'll hook up, uh, let's see, there's positive. We'll get another lead to negative. I'm going to take one of these and connect it to the ground. And then I'm going to take the other lead here and um, I'm just going to poke around on the circuit, see what happens. Okay, nothing off from those two. That's probably power that goes to those. Well, anyway, um, let's see. Let's flip all this over. We'll get at this little black blob section and start touching some leads there. If I fry something, big deal. <laughs> You know, I don't know what the thing does anyway. And I can still salvage the motors and the relays <clears throat> and all that. Well, I'm getting nothing there. Two and a half. Yeah, they're a little low. Two and a half volts. Uh, I may need three actually to, to get anything to trigger or three and a half for that matter. Hmm. All right, let's uh, try some different batteries here. Or maybe just more of them. How's that? Have I got a four pack? I got another, another separate pack here someplace. Let's just kick two more together. And We'll connect these up. Put these in a series and then we should have something close to six volts. Let's try that. I got five volts now. Okay, let's give that a shot. See if we can trigger anything to run. Okay, five volts here to play with. Let's try that out. I'm gonna connect back up to the ground again. Whoops, it would help if I actually used the ground wire. on there let's see oh hey there we go what was that the motor jumped a little right there but it didn't uh, it didn't stay on there it goes so there's one uh, A 
looks like it's running you know, clockwise. So there's clockwise on that motor. Counterclockwise. And there's clockwise on that motor. Clockwise on that motor. Counterclockwise on that motor. Counterclockwise on that motor. So there you go. How about that? I can take this whole mess right here now and I could hook that up to uh, an Arduino or another microcontroller and uh, I can send a pulse width modulated signal to any one of these here for these motors and use them in some sort of robot. And depending on uh, how I pulse width modulate it, I can go fast or slow with them. And these are some heavy duty motors. So I think I see another robot build in the future. So there you go, how about that? Well, we started out with a mystery toy and a, and a bunch of stuff we didn't know about. Tear it all apart, start poking around with some voltage coming out of the black blob microcontroller unit and we figured out that we've actually got a whole H bridge on board and you know what you don't have to worry about all the rest of this stuff just leave it there um, stuff it away somewhere and, and put it to use just like I did with the Roomba robot motherboard so we've got a future robot here waiting to happen now I just need to dream up what to do with all this stuff so there you go uh, that was a fun little teardown. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time. Where I can tap into the uh, into the motherboard on a Roomba robot motherboard. Mm-hmm. I just said that. <laughs>